वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून नमस्ते एंड माई सिंसियर अपॉलोजीज फॉर नॉट बींग एबल टू कनेक्ट टू यू टू डे मॉर्निंग ऑनलाइन बिकॉज ऑफ सम टेक्निकल इश्यूज राइट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू वेलकम यू ऑल टू क्लास थ्री आई एम ज्योतिका मैम एंड आई एल बी टेकिंग योर ई वी एस राइट बिफोर वी स्विच ओवर टू द एकेडेमिक पार्ट आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस few activities with you which you know uh, we have done these activities while in the school and the purpose of talking about these activities with you is that we should know that what all we learn in the school you know knowingly or unknowingly it's going to help us in our real life situations say for example you know the evacuation drill right when the manual bell rings and all of you are told to leave everything then and there only and you know vacate the building as quickly as you can and how uh, well you people are trained in doing that you know you uh, without falling on each other you reach the ground in less than 1 minute so it's not that the earthquake has happened and you know we have to vacate the building this is the preparation of La- preparation for life no that what if sometimes it happens we are prepared or not right then the hand washing activity uh doctor ma'am in school she also conducts it many times and we have called experts also from outside and they interacted with you and they told you they taught you rather different steps of washing hands when we're doing these activities did we ever imagine that these hand washing will become such a uh, such an issue one day yes so you should be proud today that you know how to wash hands in a better way than your elders yes because you are trained for that so how this activity has come to our rescue today and now last but not the least is the safety now since all of you are sitting at home safety is must whenever we leave the house we are told to be safe you are going out of the house in the playground be safe on the road be safe in the bus be safe in the school be safe right but you have to stay safe while at home also how safety at home means that first of all you don't have to throw your things on the floor because you know if you people will keep throwing things here and there there are chances that somebody might trip over them you have to ensure that when you are going to the washroom or in the kitchen the floor is dry if the floor is wet then there are chances that you might slip right and then we have you don't have to go near gas stove when it is burning and very important is that if you are doing any craft work any activity please do it in front of your elders in the, in the presence of your parents because you should not be playing with sharp objects like knives and uh, scissors all right all alone because you might get hurt so these were the little little activities we when we are in the school we keep telling you about all this but now since we are not meeting so i wanted to share this with you now let us switch over to our first chapter living and non living things now what i want is that you should take out your books and page number 164 okay living and non living things first of all what are living and non living things living things 
are those things which have life and non living things are those things which do not have life this is a very simple definition all right then we have i think these pictures which are you are show, uh, seeing on the screen they are a bit different from the book because i did not find all the same pictures from the book so i have tried to uh, keep here as similar picture as i could so uh, there are two boxes one box is for living thing this blue box and this purple box is for non living things right so what you are going to do is all the non living things we are going to put in non this box pink box and all the living things we are going to put in blue box okay so let us start from the first uh, picture that is a bus so bus goes in living or non living of course it goes in non living things right uh let us come to the second picture this picture is a pencil here again living or non living it is non living thing now let's come to the third picture it is a fish so fish goes in living or non living of course it is a living being then the books next picture is books so again non living so it goes in this box again next picture is of table so it goes in non living again next is the mobile phone all of us know that it does not have life so it goes in non living things now let us talk about these animals the lion the elephant and the giraffe these are all all yes living things a so lion goes in this blue box the elephant goes here and the giraffe goes under the heading of living things this much is clear to all of you right now let's come to the next part features of living things when we say features what do you understand by features features or characteristics those things which uh, make living things different from non living things yes that's why we can say that this is living and that is non living because they have different features or different characteristics now let us talk about first feature the first feature which is given in their book also now what i want is that you should not be looking at your book Pay, give your attention on the screen once the session gets over i'll suggest you to immediately read what from the book what all we have seen on the screen it will help you to remember the things for a long time right so i hope all of you are going to do that right so first feature is living things breathe now okay what is popping up here the human cows dogs and lions right so though there is only one picture there are not too many cows or too many dogs or too many lions but in general all of you know they breathe and tell me how do you breathe you breathe with your yes you breathe with your nose so this is about humans and animals now let us see what all here we have insects in this picture can you see the insects so the one cockroach and the butterfly and the mosquito right and can you see these holes on the body of the cockroach yes similar type of holes are found in case of butterfly and in case of mosquito so insects like cockroaches butterflies and mosquitoes they breathe through where as i told you from these holes we call them air holes what do we call them air holes is that clear let us switch over to 
one another type of animal yes fish can you see this portion here on the fish yes this is something new these are called gills gills are used for breathing in case of fish okay now if do we know that uh, plants are also living beings yes we say that plants are also living beings because they breathe in we know they breathe in carbon dioxide and they release oxygen gas yes uh, you will be reading about this in later later on in next chapters right so plants breathe through stomata what is the new term here stomata they have tiny pores on the they look something like this no they have tiny pores and remember these tiny pores they are on the underside of the leaf they are not on the upper side of the leaf so these are called stomata so mainly four modes of breathing we have learned here first is the nose and who breathes through nose human cow dog and lion then the air holes all type of insects they breathe through air holes let's come to the gills fish use gills to breathe and the new term is stomata what is the new term all of you say it stomata stomata are those tiny holes which are present on the underside of the leaf and they help in the breathing so this is the first feature of living things that they breathe now there is a question here how do insects and fish breathe right so if we look at the question they have talked about insects they have talked about the fish right so first we'll talk about insects now now we know that insects they breathe using their air holes present in the body right so in first of all we'll answer for insects insects such as cockroaches butterfly and mosquito breathe through air holes in their body then we'll talk about fish fish live in water yes and breathe through gills so our question is solved okay the next question is we have been asked to tell that how do plants breathe i gave you the new term and the new term is stomata so we'll answer it like this plants breathe through tiny holes or openings called stomata present on the underside of their leaves all right so the our question part is also done so let us move to the next feature next feature is living things move yes they move from one place to another and why do they move from one place to another living things move from one place to another in search of food and shelter yes they need to cover their head also they have to protect them from the different kinds of weathers no okay again the same picture the human cow dog and lion how do they move can you tell me here how do they move they move using their legs yes very nice next birds how do birds move from one place to another birds fly using their wings okay now let's come to some another kind of animals fish how does a fish move fish swim with their yes you know what are these parts called which help them in swimming fins very nice okay now let's come to this plant all of you must have seen this plant uh i don't have it in my house otherwise i would have showed it to you uh, 
so this is called mimosa plant and what happens is these can you see these leaves are open here the moment you touch the leaves of these plants they curl up right so leaves of mimosa plant curl up on touching so let us revise the second feature, the second feature of living things is that living things move, right? They move using their legs. They and some uh, animals like birds, sorry, birds, they uh, use wings to fly. Fish use fins to swim and leaves of a mimosa plant curl up on touching. So this is about the second feature of living things. Okay, now we have a question here. Plants show movement. Give one example of this statement. Yes, we know plants. Here I want to uh, tell you one more thing. Some There are some more plants, you know, uh, like sunflower. If you observe sunflower, it turns its face towards the sun. So that also shows movement. There are certain flowers which open during the day and close down, close their petals in the evening. Right. So again, plants show movement. But here we'll talk about mimosa plant. The leaves of a mimosa plant curl up when we touch them. Hence, it is called the touch me not plant. Right. So this is done. So till now, we have done two features. First feature was that living things breathe. And the second feature is living things move. Now let us come to the third feature of living things. The third feature of living things is that living things need food to live and grow. All of us need food to live, no? We cannot survive without food. And the food also helps us to grow, right? So, okay, here we have again a child eating food, the cow eating grass, and the parrot eating berries, and this frog catching insects to eat, all right? So what does it show? It shows different type of food eaten by different animals, right? So, and see, we are dependent on either plants or on animals. Here plants, 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 but here this fellow is eating insects. So that means we depend either on plants or other animals for our food requirements, right? Now, let us come to plants. Since uh, we are every time we are saying that plants are also living beings, plants breathe, plants show movement. So that means plants need food also? Yes, plants make their own food using air, water, soil and sunlight so where do they get water they get water from the soil right they get the heat of the sun and uh, they take in carbon dioxide present in the air and they take out oxygen uh, there is a complete concept of making of food by the plants in next chapter so we will study there so here you should know that plants also need food to grow now, let us come to the some important words of these three features that we have learned now. Uh, air holes. If you talk about air holes, where did we read about these air holes? Yes, in insects. Insects, they breathe through air holes. Gills. Gills are used by fish for breathing. Stomata. Stomata are used by plants for breathing. Now fins, oh yes, fins means this is something related to movement. So we have uh, read that a fish swims in water using fins. Again, 
Mimosa. Where did we read this mimosa? Mimosa plant. It curls up its leaves when someone touches them. Right? So these are the important new words which you should be knowing in these three features. Rest of the features uh, will continue next time either online or through recorded video. Right? So thank you for listening. Thank you for your attention. Stay safe. Stay healthy.